So we got to top off the tank a little bit. I didn't realize how high this thing was. As you can see, when it's sitting in the tank, it's poking out a little bit. So we're going to take care of that real quick. Thank <laughs> you. 
so I have the blazer in the wash bay after its second alkaline dip. We're gonna have a quick look at this thing, but I'm surprised at how much of that paint came off in the tank after the second dip. I thought this was gonna give us some trouble. The first pressure washing, there was still a lot left. So let's have a quick look and see what we're working with. So as you can see, this thing is so solid. We just have a few more patches and I don't even know if we're gonna get it back in the alkaline tank. I think I'm just gonna paint a little more aggressive chemical. We do have some seam sealer in some spots, as you can see, but most of that is loose and the pressure washer just doesn't have enough balls to get it out. So I'm probably gonna work at it with a putty knife and a pick. You can see right there and over here. There's like no rust on this thing. You can see where they welded in those cracks on the floor and some rust formed around there, but no, I don't see a single rust hole, just surface rust. And you see over there, they didn't weld those cracks. We'll have a closer look when we get over there. Some of that seam sealer in the corners. And I did, the air bubble was out of this thing. I got the air bubble out, but look, I'm guessing because this wasn't as weathered under here, that that's why it's remaining, but I can't believe that sticker's still there. And that one too. Like all the other stickers came off, there was a few over here. But yeah, I'm just gonna paint something on there and get that off of there, maybe sand on it a little bit. I don't wanna put it in the alkaline one more time, just because there's so minimal of paint left on here. But we will see. I still have to hit the bottom of it. A lot came off in the first dip, but we'll see what that looks like and that'll dictate whether we get it in the alkaline tank again or not you see we got a little bit of more paint over there you can see the bed is basically perfect we don't have a lot of dings or dents on this thing either like the bed sides they're like perfect the only real damage we have is on this roof here and we have some pitting on the roof but that's not too bad. Surprisingly, the rust that was on the roof came off with the alkaline. Mo probably the pressure washer and the heat doing most of the work on that part, but because the alkaline doesn't really remove rust. It can remove flash rust, but like I said, I think that's more of the heat and the pressure washer. But I'm gonna work on this thing and I will see you guys in a little bit. So I worked out all the seam sealer and took care of that um, paint that was under the roof. And now we're going into the acid bath. It's gonna stay in here for about two days and the rust isn't too bad on this thing. So it's probably gonna take one or two dips to take care of it. You can see we have a little bit of flash rust that formed. That was just the more aggressive chemical I used uh, to remove the little specks of paint under the roof and there was a few spots on top of the roof also but that's not a big deal because it immediately went back in the acid as you can see so we're going to pull it out of the acid here you can see we're pulling it out this is about two days later i actually think there was i actually think this is the second time we pulled it out it, there was one more dip before this and uh then after we get it out of this tank we're going to take it over to our alkaline tank and neutralize it Here you can see we're lowering it in the alkaline tank to neutralize all the acid after its final dip. It's going to remain in here for about 10 minutes. We're going to pull it out, take it over to the wash bay, give it its final pressure washing, and then we're going to have a look at this thing.
The blazer is all finished up and down the bare metal. This thing is looking absolutely amazing. Pretty sure this is the only blazer I've ever had, but it's one of the best I've seen. The paint wasn't too tough on this thing. It actually surprised me. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder, but it did take two or three dips and we got this thing down to bare metal and there wasn't really a lot of rust to deal with. So I think it took two dips in the acid and that was about it too. But I have to say this thing looks so sick bare metal. I know I say that about every car, but this one especially. But that's enough of me talking. Let's have a quick look at this thing and see what we're working with. So starting at the front, you can see everything's basically perfect. Nothing really going on at all. And this metal just looks absolutely amazing. I just pulled this thing out of the rust inhibitor. So you can see we still have some fluid on it. We have some pitting in the roof. That was about the extent of the rust and we had a little bit in the bed. You can see this damage we have on the roof crinkled up pretty good. Have a look at the floor. A little bit of pitting in a few spots on the floor. You can see we got more of that rust inhibitor sitting there. I'm gonna shop back and blow that all out. But this floor looks great. Dash looks great. Everything about this thing is awesome. Bedsides, nice and straight. Come around to the back. A little bit of damage in the bed. We have a few pinholes coming through and there was this one spot up there. You can see it's all crinkled up. But nothing too crazy. Come over to the driver's side. Perfectly straight, that body line looks great. Have a look at this side of the floor. You can see those welds where the floor was cracked on this side and some pitting in the floor, but nothing too crazy. Have a look under the roof. That came nice and clean. Had to do a little bit of sanding on a few areas on it. And back to the front. As you can see, this thing's nearly perfect. Looks absolutely great. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it for you. I appreciate every single one of you, and I will see you at the next car.